an unbelievable experience. To get an opportunity like that, going through OTAs and, and mini camp and then summer training camp and then getting to play in a game, you know. I got to play in CenturyLink. They sold out for a preseason game, which I thought was crazy. I got to uh, run out of the tunnel with the flag like I did every game in Texas, and so that was really special to me. And the last being out there for the national anthem was incredible. It was an emotional moment for me. It just choked me up a little bit. All this stuff coming to fruition, this is like a pinnacle of all this work and training, and you know, I'm actually about to play in an NFL game. Nate Boyer now in to long snap. We'll talk about his story as the night goes on. Played the whole second half. As a long snapper, you don't play every down, obviously, so I only had five snaps, but they all went really well. And the guy who's a 34-year-old rookie after serving in special forces comes through. It was crazy how calm I was. I figured I'd be more nervous. I was probably more nervous the week leading up to it, but once the game started, I just had fun. The Seattle Seahawks have released rookie Nate Boyer. The 34-year-old former U.S. Army Green Beret who was trying to make the team as a long snapper played in the first preseason game, but was cut today in Seattle. Tuesday morning, I came into the facility like any other day and went and had breakfast. And uh, you know, I was heading downstairs to go do my prehab before uh, practice, get warmed up. And I saw uh, the GM, John Schneider, and he had this really sad look on his face. And uh, he was kind of walking up to me. He's like, hey, Nate. And I knew right then what he was about to tell me. They got a great snapper there that's done well. He's been there five years and he hasn't made any mistakes, so it didn't really make a lot of sense to bring in an older guy with way less experience and smaller. It's a business, you know, and that's, it's a numbers game. That's just the way it goes. I was glad it was, my opportunity was with Seattle. I think that was one of the coolest parts of the experience, that not only was it in the NFL, but it's with a team that's been in the Super Bowl the last two years in a row. Obviously, I would love to make it. I would love to be a Seahawk. Even if that's the only one I ever get, you know, I got to do that. And that's, very few people can say that, especially at my age as a rookie. No one will ever take that away from me. I think I learned that I belong in these impossible, quote unquote, uh, situations. I got here and I belong, I fit in, and I think I can, I know I can do it. The NFL dream's still alive, for sure. I'm back in Los Angeles, continuing to train back at Unbreakable. I'm absolutely ready and, uh, you know, staying in shape, just hoping to get another shot. I have no clue where I'll be 10 years or five years or, you know, five days from now. <laughs> and I kind of like that. I don't think I'd want to know. I don't want my future dictated. It makes me feel more alive. Failures don't really bother me like regret would. <laughs>